What is up, Facebook Live? Chilling like an old school rock star villain. I've gotten started on another batch of wands for Etsy as we speak. But before I get to carving my wands, before I get to carving my wands, I figured I'd make me something to eat. So, right now I got my phone going and I'm making a cooking video while I do this Facebook Live video. And right now you're catching the second half of the cooking video as it happens. There's a pizza in the oven as we speak. Yeah. What's up, David? What's up, Cam? What's up, Sam? Sammy Lynn. What's up, Locus? Dana Smith, Ash. How y'all doing? Um. Yeah, we do have a little bit of snow in Wyoming. It's not a whole lot. It's at least doable. Yep, I'm making an Elvis Presley pizza for YouTube. I avoided using mayonnaise and jelly for the pizza just because I don't think that would have tasted very good with the pepperoni. The mayonnaise would have, but the jelly not so much. And you don't want to put mayonnaise on a pizza and then bake it because that's hazardous. It has to do with the way mayonnaise is made. But... That sucks. Ash Griggs says, it's snowing like crazy here in Colorado. What colors are you making? The same that I usually make, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I'll carve out the sticks that I have. And I'm going to turn a couple of my wands into pipes. It's the handheld wand slash pipe that I came up with. And as a matter of fact, I have one of them done right now. I gotta show it off real quick. Now, at a distance, it looks like just your average wand, but you look up close and you see the bowl for the tobacco and then the mouthpiece right there. Show YouTube as well. Now, I'm not gonna provide the tobacco for the wand pipe but you can get that on your own, I'm sure. And to show you how it works, it's quite simple, really. Um, I'll take some cigarette butts for my ashtray. I'm going to squeeze it into the bowl. And one butt pretty much filled that bowl up pretty good just like that and now you can have a wand you can also smoke out of and i bullshit you not check this out youtube and facebook yeah Take a couple of hits of tobacco out of the wand pipe just to show you how it works. This is a new concept that I came up with for my wands. I don't see a whole lot of people trying to combine pipes and wands into one. And that's why I'm using a fatter stick for the wand pipes that makes for more surface area to work with. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now I got two more sticks right here that I can make a couple of wand pipes out of. These are wide enough to do such. One, two. I'll be able to make four pipe wands out of these sticks right here pretty easily. So I'm going to do red, orange, yellow, and green, which means I'll need blue and purple. Um, so I'll need like maybe two more sticks after that, but that's not going to be a problem. I'll need all those wands carved out and done first, and then any remaining wands that I need to make, I'll go out and get the sticks for them and make it happen. Trying something different with the wands. To answer your question, Chris Hubble, yes. Can you take ghost hits of strong tobacco with it? Yeah, if you light it and you cover the hole with your lighter, yes, you can. Would the copper make you sick? Um, nope. That's why the copper is nowhere near the hole. It's wrapped around the hole and no actually inside of it yeah birds do you have to use cigarette butts or will non-gross tobacco work too um yeah you can use any tobacco you want to use for the wand pipes it doesn't necessarily have to be cigarette butt tobacco. This is just using the cigarette butt for my ashtray as an example. Would the copper make cannabis healing properties more powerful? That is a good question, Carla. I am not sure. But if you live in a weed friendly state, you can also use that wand to smoke weed. Yeah. No, I've seen a couple of people make staves that were pipes as well as walking sticks that had built-in pipes. But I've never seen people make a built-in pipe and a handheld wand at the same time. And they aren't very big on the bulls, but they're big enough for a couple hits at least. Which is a cool concept, you know, it's a great way to remarket my wands and, you know. There will not, I repeat, there will not be an age limit on these wands. However, I do not provide the smoke that goes into your pipe wand. That's something you're going to have to get yourself. Yeah. And this is why you're not seeing me put paint on the handles of the pipe wands because... I don't want that getting on the inside of the bowl. You could, Chris Hubble. You definitely could. It wouldn't get my business in trouble. It would just get you in trouble if you got caught. So, yeah. That's something you have to consider. Will smoke from the pipe make your magic stronger? Not necessarily, no. That's all depends on how powerful of a practitioner you are. Could you still get in trouble? You still need to be in a certain age to buy water pipes. Um, not necessarily, no, because primarily it's a wand with a little sneak of toke built into the handle, so, eh. 
In fact, let's go to Etsy real quick and just see. Because if they sell pipes on Etsy, then I should be golden. Which I'm pretty sure they might. What nerd to check? Just to make sure that Etsy allows it, you know. Wouldn't want to get in trouble on Etsy for selling paraphernalia. Let's see. Hmm. All right, if it'll load, there we go. Pipes for smoking. Oh, well, would you look at that? Facebook and YouTube. Of course, Etsy has pipes for sale. A lot of these are glass blown. Some of these are made out of quartz. Some of these are made out of wood. Cool, man. <coughs> well, now that I know you can sell tobacco pipes on Etsy and you won't get in trouble, that's good. That's very, very good. Very good indeed. Oop. Well, it looks like the pizza's done, YouTube. Hold on a second. Let's get it out of the oven. <laughs> One second, Facebook. I'm in the middle of a cooking video, so I gotta take care of that first. Turn the timer and the baker off and hmm. Hmm. all right YouTube we gotta get a close-up of this pizza all nice and done out of the oven before we cut into it. Uh, hmm. What do you think, YouTube? This is why I said 420 degrees for 18 minutes. Look at that crust, golden brown, every time. All that cheese melted on top of everything. You got a couple of cheese bubbles forming, but that's all right. I'm not going to lie, YouTube, this pizza does look pretty good. So what I'm going to do right now, while we got Facebook Live going, I'm going to cut into this pizza, and then we're going to have a slice and try it. Elvis Presley pizza. Get it. For your face. Dankness for your face. Seems how we're eating pizza. Might as well use a plate from a pizza restaurant to eat it. Not a sponsor. All right, let's see if we get a close-up of me cutting into this pizza with my pizza cutter. Oh. Let's use that plate forward just a bit. And move that bread out of the way. Perfect. So go ahead and we'll cut. 
cut into this delicious pizza. Oh, you too. You hear that sizzle? Sizzle sounds good, doesn't it? Yippers. That's the sizzle of dank ass pizza being cut. That fresh sizzle. <coughs> oh, we. Okay, so I'm trying to pull this pizza forward just a little bit. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I did make a bit of a mess on the counter when cutting into it, but that's all right. That is quite all right. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut this delicious pizza into four serving slices. is now cut into four serving slices. Now what I'm going to do, YouTube, is I'm going to plate up some of this pizza. Grab a slice of it. So before we plug the phone back in, take a look at that, Facebook. This is my Elvis Presley pizza that I made for YouTube. And um, well, it looks and smells delicious, that's for sure. Um, okay, YouTube and Facebook, let me just plug the phone in real quick, get it plugged back in. Now that we're done making the pizza, we got to cut into four serving slices. That's what I'll be eating for today, most definitely. Yeah. All right, I got the phone plugged in. All right, Facebook, let's, and YouTube, let's have a gander at this so called Elvis Presley pizza, right? There's definitely mm, enough toppings on here. Like it's sagging just a little bit from the weight of the toppings. And it's even pooping the toppings all over the plate. But who cares? Yo, YouTube, Facebook, 
Yeah, this pizza is good, man. Putting bananas on it was definitely an interesting take. But surprisingly, it actually works with this pizza. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Yo. I am actually really happy with the way this pizza turned out. It's always nice, YouTube and Facebook, when I do a cooking video and the pizza comes out or the burger comes out just right. It's going to be a little bit messy because of the ingredients used on it, but that's all right. Yo, this is uh, some good pizza, man, 100%. Mm. Mm. I made a pizza to honor the king of rock and roll, and this is definitely doing it. Elvis Presley loved deep-fried pizza peanut butter banana sandwiches and you deep fry them in bacon grease. So this is sort of a twist on that. Um you know, all that all the peanut butter and the cheese right there you can see it. It's a little cross section right there. Oh man, this is so flipping good. Yes. Get some food in my stomach before I continue making wands. Mm. Yeah, this pizza is definitely good. It swings, man. You get the chewiness and the sweetness from the bananas and the peanut butter. And you get the salty taste from the bacon. And then you get this nice mild taste from the mozzarella cheese. And then a little bit of bite from the pepperoni. Got the beef in there doing its thing. Yeah. This particular cooking video will be uploaded to YouTube as soon as I can. Uh. Wasn't sure how bananas was going to taste on a pizza, but you put it with some peanut butter and, well, it tastes damn good. Mm. And that crust, light, golden brown, chewy, flaky. Mm. Perfect crust every time. Of course, you already know, Facebook. You want to cook the pizza at the perfect temperature 
420 degrees, 18 minutes. Boom. And you will get perfect crust every time. No bullshit. Mm. Mm. One last bite for the hell of it. Um. Mm. That's definitely a messy pizza. You can see the grease on the um, plate. I'm gonna grab some napkins and wash my hands, get a cup of water. Hold on a second. I know what you're thinking, like, bananas on pizza? That's a little weird, man. It's no weirder than putting pineapple on pizza, in my opinion. Mm. <clears throat> Yo, that pizza kicked ass. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. That was actually pretty good. Mm. I'll give a shout out to Josh Lawyer. He sent me some cardinal cherries. And I'm uploading a review of those cardinal cherries right now. It's called Cherry Review. And then I got my rant video, which I made last night. It's sort of a rant slash inspirational video. And, um, yeah, I'll get this, um, excuse me, I'll get this cooking video on the upload when those two are done, or at least when one of them's done. How long is this cooking video on my phone? Hour and 15, almost an hour and 16 minutes. But that's real time. You know, a lot of YouTubers will cut and edit their videos. Not me. I'm sure I could do it, but it takes more time to upload content. So, you know, what you see is what you get. Yo, I love coming up with new recipes, and that one is definitely a recipe for the books, man. That's going in my arsenal. It's that good. Now, I've been loving the new recipes I've been coming up with lately. That bacon caramel corn cheeseburger. Beautiful. And then now I have this Elvis Presley pizza. Oof. Oof. -hoo. So damn good. Is it healthy? Probably not. <laughs> But who cares? You got one life. Live it, love it, and enjoy it. Let's see if I can get... I'm going to grab my uh, spittoon so I can prop the camera up while I finish this YouTube video. Because I, ha I did have my, uh, my camera propped against my cup here, but... Probably the healthiest thing I've had for that meal was a cup of water. But, yeah. I'm going to grab some more water. I'll be right back. <sighs> Cheers, Facebook and tubes. Well, YouTube, I would call that that pizza a booming success.
Mm. That's definitely going to make for some tasty eats later on. But putting bacon, peanut butter, and bananas on a pizza. Oh, yeah, I went there. <laughs> and it's delicious, dude. I cannot stop boasting about it, man, because wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out. And like I said, on this particular video that I'm filming on my phone, I've had peanut butter on a pepperoni pizza, and surprisingly, I think it tastes good. That's just my opinion, though. You may think it's gross, but... Yep. And all, all that beef, as you saw on the outside, cooked all the way through. After being in the oven for 18 minutes, it was pre-cooked enough to make it safe to eat. So by the time I took it off out of the oven, boom. Well, anyways, Tubes, if you like the cooking videos, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more cooking videos like this one that you've seen, subscribe to the channel for more. Excuse me, it was just that good. Anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching my dank-ass cooking video showing y'all how to make an Elvis Presley pizza. And um, I'll catch you cool cobras on the flip side. There we go. Alrighty, Facebook. Now I'm gonna go into preview and I wanna import <clears throat> import from Josh Saunders iPhone. Click on that. And I want to click and drag the one I, this one right here. There we go. I want to have that click and drag and, you know. Mm. That's just good pizza, man. Hells to the fuck, yeah. It's always nice when my cooking videos turn out decent and they don't, you know, the ingredients come together and what have you. It's gonna take a while for that video to um, import. Hmm. Oh, come on, the video's right there. Well, and of course, previews being a pain in the ass. Hold on a second. I'll quit out of preview. Unlock the phone. And then click on preview again. Uh, at this point, I'm not even tripping out about it because I know. Oh, dude, come on. Please register the video. You know, that's just typical life in a nutshell, isn't it? The cooking video goes beautifully, the pizza turned out delicious, and now it doesn't want to import to my desktop. That is so typical life in a goddamn nutshell. <laughs> uh.
That is so typical life in a goddamn nutshell. Well, it's got to import eventually because I'd like to upload this cooking video to YouTube. Let's see who's giving this video some angry reacts. Tim Longsdale. Well, you're going to get banned from my Facebook, bud. I'm not going to sit here and put up with this crap. There's no reason to be giving somebody an angry react video. Or angry reacts in a video, especially when I'm not being angry. Hmm. Oh, well, that's just flipping fantastic. The phone does not want to uh respond to friend request delete delete and block Probably a fake account anyways. Let's see. Marty, you're getting banned too. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I'm just saying you want someone to be your friend on Facebook You'd think you wouldn't give their uh, video a negative react. That's all I'm getting at. What's this dumbasses? Lord Marty Genetti. All right. Looks like yeah, it's gonna block. Block. Confirm. Oh yeah. I'm just saying though. All right, let's catch up on Facebook chat. Chris Hubble says, this would be a great date night pizza. It shows your originality with the toppings and it's dank as fuck. Do you, did he save up his bacon grease or throw it out? like an amateur. Oh, I saved my bacon grease. Hey, Josh, what are you eating? Delicious pizza. Um, I wouldn't put hot sauce on that. That would be a little bit weird. Mm. 
why didn't you make a cooking channel again? Oh, it's just easier to keep it all on one channel. You should have fried the bananas in the bacon grease. Mm, something to think about next time I make it. Hmm. Can you do more Facebook Lives? Possibly, yes. <laughs> Possibly. Well, I'm gonna leave you with it, Facebook, and try to get this video on the upload. I'll catch at you in a minute. <laughs>